Hi, I'm Joshua Gills, and today I will be talking to you about planting citrus. Citrus are a classic addition to all South Texas gardens, and there's a vast variety of citrus you can plant here, such as oranges, limes, grapefruits, and for today, I will be planting a Myers lemon. Let's start with the fruit. Citrus at a young age love to produce fruit, and you do not want to let this happen because at a young age, they are not able to sustain the weight of the fruit. Citrus takes a lot of energy to produce fruit, and you'd rather have that energy being spent growing the root system and having stronger, sturdier branches that will help support the weight of your fruit. Citrus will start to produce white flowers when it's ready to bloom, and all you will do is just come, pluck it right off, and there goes the energy right back into the plant. Be sure to pick all the blooms off your citrus for the first year. For the second year, you're gonna to wanna to pick off most of the blooms, and after that, your citrus should be ready to sustain the weight of the fruit. First, you wanna find a nice sunny area with good drainage. Good drainage means that when it rains, the water doesn't pull up in that area. When digging your hole, you wanna make it at least twice as wide and the same level as the pot it's currently in. That way, the feeder roots will travel deeper in search of more water. Planting level is important because you do not wanna bury your feeder roots. And by feeder roots, I mean this area on top. With the dirt you pulled out of your hole, you will want to use about a third of compost. To that, mix in some organic material, sprinkle some of your compost. You wanna mix up your organic food and your compost into the dirt. That way it gets nice and mixed up and you have a nice even mixture. What this does, it helps break up that nice hard clay soil and allows for new roots to penetrate that existing soil. The compost helps break up the soil, whereas the organic food helps the root system get more established. Now that you've had your mixture of dirt, compost, and organic food, you can backfill and make sure to remember not to cover up your feeder roots. You backfill nice and even, making sure your citrus is nice and centered. You'll notice that I am backfilling around the root ball and not on top. What this does is that this protects the feeder roots from being covered. If they get covered, they will be suffocated and that will lead to the decline in your citrus tree. Another useful tip would be to clip these lower branches or sucker sprouts, which would help give you better tasting fruit. Now it's time to create a tree ring and stake up your citrus for stability. Using some mulch and leftover dirt, I'm going to create a tree ring as such. I start from the center to make a nice even berm. And what that berm does, it helps focus your, your water straight down into the root system. You want to create about a three foot wide tree ring and that helps preventing grass from growing into your citrus. This is a huge no-no because grass can suffocate your citrus just as well as dirt on top of your feeder roots. We have staked our citrus up with two T-posts and that helps keep your citrus from swaying in the wind. When tying up citrus, you never want to use wire. Wire will dig into your trunk and that would harm your citrus. You want to use something soft like this arbor tie when tying up your citrus. Find the center branch. You make a nice wide loop around. Make a knot. Make another knot so that knot doesn't slip. Then you just keep it level and give it a nice good tie up. And now you have a stable growing citrus. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about watering. A good rule of thumb when planting in the spring is to water once a day, every day for the first two weeks, three times a week for the next two weeks, and twice a week through the summer. And when you water, you wanna make sure to let all the hot water out first and give it a nice deep drink. And what this does is create good depth moisture which allows your roots to dive deeper into the ground. Citrus are susceptible to pests and fungus. How you would combat that is using an organic horticultural oil spray in the cooler months. That way you don't risk burning your tree. These simple steps will help your citrus get off to a great start. 
After a couple of seasons of growth, you will be able to harvest tons of fruit. Be sure to follow Grow Local and Gills on social media. We'll be showing you some more tips on how to grow food. Thank you for watching.